Let's talk about the neodent torque wrench in this video. It's an important thing to discuss because the way you have it set up does matter. Um, what I mean by that is when you're looking at the torque wrench, there's one side that says neodent on it and then the other side is blank. You always wanna be looking at the neodent side. And what the, the next follow up on that is, let's take this thing apart and show you why that's important. So first of all, let's take this thing apart. You unscrew this, a rod will come out. This is absolutely necessary for sterilization. And then another component will come out right here, okay? So as you can see, there's three pieces to this. All three of them need to be separated before we run it through sterilization, making sure we get anything out of any nooks and crannies. When we put this together, there is a proper way to put this together. If we're looking at this attachment here, one side has the square connection and the other side is just flush and round. We want the square connection to be away from us when we see neodent. So it needs to be on the back side. That way when we're connecting our attachments, they're going from the underside. So when that's in there, we just put that in the right way and we can thread this back in. Okay, so in order to determine whether we're torquing clockwise or counterclockwise, there's a little arrow here. So if the arrow is pointing towards the torque gauge, then it's gonna go forward. That means clockwise, we're gonna tighten whatever we're putting on. If we wanna loosen, we simply pull this back, rotate it, and it'll lock back down. Easy to do. Forward, back, forward, back, however you wanna do it. And it's as easy as that. Say you've gotten the kit, it's come to you, and this was put in wrong. Let me just kind of demonstrate that real quick. So say it comes to you like this, we're well, not gonna be able to use this. So when this goes in like that, we're actually gonna go in the patient's mouth. Sorry, I didn't lock that in. All right, there we go. We'd have to go into the patient's mouth like this. And as you can see, you're only gonna be able to check torque value if you're going backwards. You won't actually be able to check torque value going forward. That's why this is important. So the easy way to just fix this is you can pull this back. It'll actually loosen this. You can flip it and then lock this back in and it's good to go. Alternatively, you could do the long way and take the whole rod out and put that in, but a simple solution is just by pulling this back. So if I just pull this back all the way, you see how it falls out. So you can kind of just put it back in. So be careful of pulling it back and dropping it on the floor. But that's it.